Followed your drawings very carefully. If you really love me, you'll let me design clothes for real people, not dumb old Dolly. Oh, Miss Wendy, they're lovely, inspired even. Wonderful. I'm a real designer now. I need to design more. Junkyard? Big whoop. I like junkyards. Well, I don't. And you're not to come out of your room until it's tidy. <laughs> Lucian, what is it? What's wrong? <gasps> I, I thought it was a clown, but it's only... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're not really a... Clown, are you? No, this is the official new Hascam sales suit. We all have to wear them. I want to see Dad's clown suit! Not until you've cleaned up your room! <laughs> Children need limits. If Wendy Winkle had limits, you wouldn't have to go to work in a clown suit, dear. Wait a minute. What does Wendy have to do with it? My sales suit is from her new designer range, Wendy Wear. Wendy has her own designer range. Can't you find another job? Where? In a circus? <laughs> Wayne, is your room done? Nobody's telling me what to do anymore. Huh? What's for breakfast? Pork rice. Hey, how come you're not in school? I got time off. For good behavior. Wendy Winkle, what's the big idea making my dad wear a clown suit? For your information, that's not a clown suit. That's style. If you don't know your fashion, don't show your ignorantness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. No, we don't need any clown stuff. No, no, no. <laughs> hey, Joe, I'm starving. What's for supper? Pork grind. Again? Today, boys and girls, I have been told to have great pleasure in distributing our new Wendy Wear school uniform. Simon Prance? Maury Phelps. Emma Fielding. Where's Wayne? I made him a special one. Totally hunky. Totally cool. Lucian Cramp. Oh, yeah. I made you a special one, too. I'm sorry, Mr. Winkle, but this is out of control. How'd you get in here? Security! They thought I was a clownogram. Which is my point, actually. This is my school uniform. Wendy must be stopped. Children need limits. You're right, clown kid. I couldn't agree more. We've already had a few fashion accidents. <laughs> A 
simple solution, Mr. Winkle. You just have to say no! Sure, Daddy. Just say no and prove you don't love me anymore! If Wendy's own parents are scared to stop her, who will she listen to? I'm hungry. But don't give me pork rinds! Oh, Wendy! I'm so happy to see you. Me too, actually. <laughs> this is serious, Wayne. You are the only one who can make a difference. She's your friend. No, she's not. I hate Wendy. But she really likes you, son. <laughs> she might listen. And you could stop all this. So, I like Lucian in a clown suit. He deserves it! You can come back in and have sugar food when you agree to stop Wendy! <sighs> well done, Mother. Hello, everybody! I've come to see Wayne. I brought him a little Get Well card and this special hunk. At school uniform. <laughs> Don't you wish you could wear something like this? Clown pants? Yes, Wendy, it's perfect. The sooner we show Wayne, the better. Wayne! Wayne! Sorry, Wendy, I don't know where he is. He was outside just a minute ago. <gasps> you mean you just lost him? Oh, you must be the most irresponsible parent ever! Hello, Mr. Winkle? I think I know how to help you. Hey, come back with that sugar bowl! Sorry, Sugar, but I've got problems of my own right now. Have you found him yet, Daddy? Wendy Winkle, and your clothes stink worse! Wayne! Are you... Are you saying I'm not a good desire? Yes! <laughs> Daddy! I'm calling you! Get back in here! <laughs> There, there, Pumpkin. I think maybe it's time to let everyone go back to their old clothes again. It's an 
honor, Lucian. Mr. Winkle's way of saying thanks. And it's not really named after you. It's called clown -o clean <sighs> It's just so humiliating. Humiliating? Ha! Nobody pointed out your butt in a window. Of course I think you have talent, Pumpkin. And the rest of this town is just too ignorant to recognize it. Do you really think so, Daddy? Yes, I do. And I love my new nightwear. Just think it's a little short is all. Don't be silly. That's a style. It's a belly top. It is? <laughs> well, it's perfect. What's going on, Joe? The junk seems kind of shiny. It's the big end of junk closing down, Sam Wayne. Everything must go. <sighs> Even me. Huh? Closing down? What are you talking about? They're going to close the junkyard, Wayne. And build a big glue factory instead. No! You probably smell soapy or something. It bothers me sometimes. Smells okay to me, Tony. Animals just don't like me. Ow! Go bad! Go bad! I got a problem! I need your help! Me help you? Ha! We're brothers! Thanks. <laughs> but it's an extinction problem! You know you like saving things? Please! Extinction? You hate animals, Wayne. What are you talking about? The junkyard, girl pants! Only you can save it! Ah, uh, ha, ha, ha! Get double bent! Huh? Save the junkyard! Junk, junk, junk! Hey! That's not what I meant! What would you do if you found a poor orphan boy? Would you take him in and let him live with us? Well, of course we would, son. Good, because Dirty Joe's an orphan with nowhere to live! Wayne, that's not the same thing. <laughs> Don't call me Dirty Joe for nothing, ma'am. Hey, go away! Him leave! What? I asked permission and you said yes! An orphan is an orphan and Joe's homeless! Ask Girl Pants. He's right, Mother. We must reach out to the downtrodden. Hello, Joe. If Dirty Joe really is an orphan, he can stay. But only temporarily. He can sleep in the spare room. No, not the spare room! He should have my room. And where in Sud's name are you going to sleep? I'll take Lucian's room. Mom! Joe is downtrodden, remember? I need to be near him, Mommy, in case he wants anything. That's right. Lucian, now you're not being very nice. You can sleep in the spare room for a night or two. No, wait! I only brought home the good stuff. It's not so bad, Lucian. It's like camping. And you're closer to nature here. I can't sleep. The whole house smells dirty. And this stuff isn't working. Uh, don't worry, dear. I'll get some gas masks and biohazard suits from work at the boarding. In the morning? Hey, boy. Can you smell something you like? Ew. Good boy. You can keep the 
the snake away. Oh. Wake up, Wayne! I'm hungry! I don't want to be rude and just help myself. Cold chicken, leftover pizza, cheese bars. Wayne, look! Choose what he smells like. If Dirty Joe doesn't like bathing, who are we to judge? I don't mind. I like trying new things. <laughs> I told you not to make him take a bath, you suck him! <laughs> uh, uh, could we come in, please? No! Uh, <clears throat> I, I think Tony's contagious, Dad. Well, so you see, son, we, oh, we really need your help. And I would have thought you, of all people, would be against building a glue factory. <gasps> a glue factory? I never realized that's what they were building! Save the junkyard, stop the glue! Save the junkyard, stop the glue! <laughs> Wayne! You're not chanting loud enough! Save the junkyard, stop the glue! Save the junkyard, stop the glue! Save the junkyard, stop the glue! How many dead ponies do you want on your conscience? <laughs> Is it true, Daddy? Do they really make glue from people's pet ponies? <laughs> and Mr. Winkle announced last night that there will never be a glue factory in this county. They're putting one in Blanford instead. Why? 
Is Joe gone? Uh, I never actually saw him. What does he look like? Dirty and very dirty. Oh my goodness, we've only got 10 seconds to hide. Bombardier instant air freshener. That ought to take the smell away. Mother, father, if I found a poor orphaned creature, maybe not necessarily human, could I... No! But you met Wayne, and dogs are less smelly. Please, you're not getting a dog, Lucian. But you are getting a bath. <laughs> <laughs> and you too, Wayne. <laughs> 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 